What's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Colors review. Today I am going to be reviewing Ms. Fritter, suggested to me by BGM Reviews. So today we are reviewing Ms. Fritter, which I believe this is the, not incorrect model, but this was the first model released. Since then they've updated her stop sign, which made it completely red, and I'm actually debating if I should get that one. I believe they updated the paint to not have it shine and have it more of a matte finish like all the other like all the other Dumb and Derby cars have. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So you can see right away she has this aggressive, scary expression. It's not scary, but it's supposed to like strike fear into her opponents. You can see she has some chain on her hood and going through one of her taillights. Not tail lights, headlights, tail lights on the back. Right there it says school bus. On the side here it reads Miss Fritter. This road sign, don't really know what it says, but it says No something something lane. And there's a the stop sign, it actually moves out a little bit, but you don't want to move it out too much or else it'll break. She's number fifty-eight. And there's some license plates. Um there's some numbers, I'm not going to read it to you, so you have to read it yourself. Can't wait that to know funny today. But those are the license plates. Pretty interesting. And then there's a street sign saying Park Avenue. On the back here, she has some stickers. She has a rainbow, a lightning bolt. Well, she got. She has a. License plate says Fritter Time. And above it, it says, what does it say? Mm. Um, above Fritter Time, it says something. I don't even know what it says, but you can probably tell what it says with a magnifying glass. And on this side, she has a lot more license plates. Like, she has a lot more, which is pretty much, I think these are all the license plates of the victims or cars she has taken down in the demolition derbies. That's cool. It says Miss Fritter. And then 50 again with some paneling. And that's the paneling's there because, uh, yeah, I'm actually correct. Because. This is the side where the doors would be on the school bus because, like, if, if if when you go to school, which I'm pretty sure most of my viewers do, the school bus comes up and you go to this side. This side, there's no door because it's a stop sign. There's a door on this side, so that's why it has like this detailed steel um, uh, roofing on it. And it looks like the front is a separate piece to the rest of the body because you can see it's not a unibody. And you see there's a big crack there separating the front to the rest of the body and her exhaust pipes simulate bull horns or devil horns whatever you want to call them and yeah she's a pretty interesting character here's the base of Miss Ritter pretty cool pretty cool she's one of the best Cars 3 die casts Deluxe has released so far and now without since we finished reviewing her, now let's get into comparisons with the other Demon Derby cars. So first off, let's compare with Taco. She's a, she's a lot bigger than any of the other Demon Derby cars. So that's cool. I actually unboxed her like five months ago, so if you haven't seen the unboxing video of her, you should go check it out. Here's APB, I believe that's her name. Here's Fishtail, as I say many times, my least favorite Delma Derby racer at the moment. I don't know why, I just don't really like the de design and detail of this character. I just find it's a little... Not my type of car. 
He was T-Bone, one of the best color models ever just because of this curve. It's amazing. Like the demo dairy colors are very unique from all the other ones because like they actually have like dents and you really get die cast colors with dents in them. The only ones you get with dents nowadays are the demo derby colors. Um some damage king, damage rod to a red line. Um yeah, I think that's it. And damage mood springs. Those are the only colors you get with dents in them, I believe. Besides the demo derby colors. So I'm happy they're making more dented vehicles because I like that design of character. It's nice to change the models up a bit, you know. Not to have a plain car with amazing detail, but to have like a model that's shaped into like a damaged vehicle and have dents. And this is pile up, so I didn't announce the name earlier, but this is pile up. And yeah, guys, that is actually it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.